constantly constricts your possibilities. It isn't real because there's always abundance. This universe is created based on um, a concept of abundance. There's never lack. Only when you perceive that to be lack does lack exist. Doesn't mean that you don't have, it doesn't mean that you may not be in a situation where you don't have everything you need. It means that it's out there. It's out there. It's all around you. It is a mindset of looking at things. Whatever you focus on, whatever you focus on, you give power to. So whatever you focus on, you feel. Look, I'm excited about the work that we're doing at the Visionetics Institute and a number of other entities within Rick Wallace Enterprises. But the Visionetics Institute is my baby. It's my passion. It's where I get to work with people and help them achieve the goals that they have set for themselves, help them overcome the obstacles that are in front of them, help them see themselves in a way that puts them in the best position to perform in this world and to have the things that they desire and to become what they were designed to become. Um, you'd be surprised what you can do by simply shifting your vision, your vision of yourself, your vision for yourself, your vision of your place in this world. And there are so many different ways that you are literally naturally designed to do it. And what happens is most people are actually moving in the opposite with those same mechanisms. And I enjoy working with people. What I want to do is I want to encourage you. Um, don't live on an island. We live in a world where everyone critiques everything and second guesses everything, but never offers solutions. Find you someone who can offer solutions. Find someone who can encourage you and point you in a direction. Sometimes that person will be very close to you uh, and can become a mentor. Sometimes that person is a professional and will require you to invest in yourself by paying them. Invest, you're worth it. That's the thing that I wanna get through to you today. You don't have to work with me. I would love to work with those of you who are seriously committed. I don't take on people who are going to flap and flounder. I don't take on people who aren't 100% committed because this is a journey. It's not a journey of ease. It's a journey of reward. And what I mean by that is a bunch of the things that you're going to have to get to is on the other side of pain, on the other side of fear, on the other side of discomfort. You're going to have to be willing to step out there and make something happen. But I guarantee you, if you're willing to go the distance, there's something there at the end for you. And there's a bunch to learn and gain on the journey. My best part of my life isn't the goals and the accomplishments that I've achieved. It's the journey of getting there. Each and every day I celebrate myself. Each and every day I celebrate myself whether I've had the best day of my life or the worst. Why? Because I got up, I went to work, I did what I was supposed to do and there was something I got out of it. I make sure I get something out of every day. You know what that guarantees me? That guarantees me I, I, I'm going to be a better man than when I woke up. That's the journey. That's the true goal is to grow, is to become. You don't get what you want in this life you get who you are so if you don't have it it's because you haven't become the person capable of producing it but that person exists you've got to build it create it develop it within yourself if you don't work with me I, i'm okay with that because there are plenty of people who will decide to work with me but you need to find somebody who can pour into you find somebody who can build you 
Surround yourself around people who can see the greatness in you, even if they don't know how to facilitate it. Find people who aren't making it their career to tell you how how how, how you're going to fail. Making it their career to tell you why you can't do something. Making it their career to bring up your past. Making it their career and little life lifelong uh, purpose to break you down and keep you where you're at. Get those people out of your periphery. Get those people out of your immediate circle. Why? Because they will break you down. You are going to ultimately end up being an average of the five people you spend the most time with and around and talk to the most. You're going to be the average of what you consume. If you're consuming junk, you are going to produce junk. You are going to have to raise the level of your enga social engagement to include people who are, are who have already gone where you're going and can show you how to get there as well as people who are headed that direction who will partner with you encourage you and hold you accountable that's the real deal uh, look i don't care where you're at right now if you set your mind to do something and you're willing to stay through it you will see unbelievable results uh, if you're like me you're going to set your, you're going to set goals and you will hardly reach them at the date you set them. I set monster goals. So I rarely reach my goals for the date I set. The re And people say, why do you do that? And my, my mentor told me, he said, you will spend a lot of your time failing forward. And at first I'm like, I don't like that word fail. What do you mean? He says, you set your goal so huge that it's likely impossible to get to, but you literally go for it. So you give it everything you got trying to get to it. When you, when you get to that date, you haven't hit the goal yet, but you've gone as far as you could have possibly gone in that time because you leave everything on the table. That's what I mean when I say all the time at the end of the videos, I live my life on full. Why? Because I die, I'm going to die on you. I go to bed on you every day. I gave that day everything that day deserved for me. Every day, the, everything that day demanded of me, I gave it. So I go to bed on E and then I rejuvenate, I replenish. I, I rest my mind, I replenish my mind. I literally set the way that I go into my sleep by what I think about as I go into theta before I move into delta. And that is powerful. But let me explain something to you. You have to be willing to put in the work. You have to be willing to, to go the distance. You have to be willing to set it up. What I'm trying to get you to understand is when you set up and you are willing to go the distance, you may fail forward. That's the way I like it. Why? Because I'm not going to leave anything on the table. When I set easy goals, anyone, when you set an easy goal and it's easy to attain, you'll hit the goal, but how much did you, how much potential did you leave out there? How many possibilities that were never tapped? because you didn't push yourself, because you didn't take yourself out the comfort zone. You just set goals that, man, if I just wake up every day and go to work, if I just wake up every day and do this, if I just, it'll happen. That That's an easy route. Like Stephen Furtick said, if the vision that you have for your life isn't so huge that it intimidates you, it's a good chance it's insulting God. Why? Because it's not stretching you, because it's not growing you, because it's not pulling you out of your comfort zone, because it's not demanding anything of you uh, that challenges what you are willing to give. It's got to pull you. It's got to stretch you. It's got to take you out of your mental, emotional, and even physical comfort zones. If it doesn't, then it's not getting everything out of life that you should be getting. And it's one of the reasons why you find yourself in the situation you're in. Wake up in the morning with a heart of gratitude. Wake up in the morning with an expectation of doing something fantastic, doing something great. Wake up in the morning with an idea of who you are and what you're capable of. Don't be overwhelmed by your current circumstance. I tell people all the time, and I'm going to end on this note. I tell people all the time, I say, people get, I mean, really been out of shape because when they know I'm in a, a what seems to be a bind, and it doesn't seem to be any answer, any way out. They're looking for me to fold. They're looking for me to get frustrated. They're looking for me to become frenetic, un frenetic and unglued and, and, and just just lost in the moment. And, and, and what they find is that I'm probably at my calmest when the storm is raging. And, and, and they don't understand it. And they'll accuse me of... Of, of, of being in denial they'll accuse me of not being realistic with 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 uh accepting my reality 
And what they don't understand is I have a spiritual connection with the most high. The most high is spirit. And it, uh, the, the, in, in Christianity, it says those who worship the most high in worship the most high in spirit and in truth. But no matter how you see the most high, no matter what way you connect or relate to the most high, the most high is spirit. It's it's not fixed in one particular place. The most high is fluid. The most high moves around. God is not locked into anything. God is not stumped by anything. God is not overwhelmed by anything you're going through. And when you connect with God through spirit, your spirit in direct connection with the spirit of the most high, the spirit of God, then that communication from God that tells you, hmm, don't worry about what you're looking at. I got you. you. Here's the answer. The answer's on the way. You don't need to know it right now. You just need to know it's on the way. You need to know that if you stand firm, you're going to make it. You need to know that if you don't give up, you're going to make it. You need to know that no matter what is happening right now, if you don't quit, you will make it. Don't give up. And so I tell people, what you don't understand is you're looking at the circumstance. But there's something in my spirit that simply disagrees with the circumstance. There's something in my spirit that's telling me this is not the end of the story. There's something in my spirit that won't let me fold. There's something in my spirit that says, hold on just a little bit longer and push through. Don't give up. Don't fold. No surrender. No retreat. You were built to win. Look, on that note, I'm going to get out of here. I leave you with what I always leave you with. I'm, I'm going to live my life on full so that I die on E. My challenge for you, to you is to do the same thing. Look, for any of you guys who want to work with me or you want to tap into some of the resources that I have that you can work through on your own, check the description box. On that note, I'm out here. You guys have an unbelievable special day. announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time. You know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.